We're good. No, I yeah. think we're good. It'd be the first time to learn to that. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we ended the night last night, I think, by talking a little bit about energy. I think mm -hmm. Ed was talking about energy. Yep. You've got guys whose job it is to bring that energy. How much will you lean on them on this last game of this trip tonight? Well, we all need energy. It's not based on three or four or five guys. It's going to have to be throughout. And, um, you know, you, you, you knew the Calgary game was going to be emotional. Um, I was actually worried in the Edmonton game. And we had pretty good energy there. So maybe it was delayed by a game. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, but we're back to back now. And, and we got to find ways to, to get our energy up. So, um, but that's got to be from, from everybody in the game tonight, not just one or two guys. And both teams facing the same situation. First one to find mm -hmm. their game again, the old cliche, right? First one to find their game, probably in good shape. Yeah, I mean, this is a, that's a pretty good team facing it. They're a top eight or ten that they are in the league. They're, they're, they found their groove this year. So uh, you, you can't afford to start slow and get behind in this game. Um, you know, you are you are on back to back, but can you can there be excitement maybe to, to be drawn from you got a chance to win the road trip here? You know, you win this game tonight, then you guys come out on top on what's a pretty tough road trip. You're darn right it is. Yeah, we're four and six games and you know, one one and one in this trip and if you'd have told me that, <coughs> chance to, to get you know, go two one and one, I would have certainly taken that. So were the guys in that room. So yeah, they I, it's the NHL. You should be excited every night to play. Right, we we got a lot of young guys that uh, this is you know this is a dream to be playing here. So that's great building. Uh, playing against a really good hockey team, we should be energized tonight. The other day, I think it was JD. We're walking in Edmonton. He says about Marchenko, um, that's our Cy Young winner. You know, eleven and zero, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it's thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I think I think I read something today. It was like a, almost a hundred years uh, since a guy has scored thirteen goals to start his career with no yeah. assists or anything. Just how remarkable is what he is. Been able to do to start his NHL career, so like to not get an assist. Or well, to... it, well, maybe that, but also <laughs> no. just just to score 13 goals yeah, no. in 26 games. Yo, know, I say that tongue in cheek. No, he's uh, you know, I, I've talked about him a lot. I, mm -hmm. I like his his passion, his enthusiasm. Um, I love that he's finding different ways to score uh, power play five on five and, and different ways even within those mm -hmm. uh, power play goals. So at at the end of the day, he's been a uh, he's been a real positive and a bright spot in, in that, you know, for goal scoring, which hasn't come easy for us. So, you know, he's on the first unit for a reason. He's going to, you know, be on a good line here again tonight. And, and you know, he's, he's hungry to learn. He, that's what I love about him. He's, he's got this real passion to learn, and he works at his game constantly. So, uh, you know, he's, it's not coming just because of luck. Right. It's coming because he's putting the work in. And, and, it's funny, he'll miss a shot in the game and the next day of practice he's working on 20, 30 shots from that just instance alone. So it shows you where his mindset is and, and how he's trying to, to develop his game and, uh, and grow it. And he's getting rewarded with goals. Yeah. Um, you know, when I, I remember I went up to Cleveland earlier this year, I think he was from Finland, and, and just talking to the coaches up there and the players. Um, they all just said, like, off the ice, he's such an like, uplifting presence because, mm -hmm. you know, even though the English is coming, but he's just always got a smile on his face and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. It seems like he's doing that here as well. It, it, how much can that help in a season that's, that's kind of tough like this to have a guy who's just constantly positive? Well, I think that's just who he is, yeah. right? That, that's, it, it's, not a, it's not something mm -hmm. that he's just faking. I think right. that's just pers his personality. So in, in the fact that it's translated, he was doing the same thing is there as he is here. Uh, it shows who he is, and he's again. It, it's he's got a passion for the game. He's excited to have competition and go out and play, and um, he's not freezing in the moment at all. He, he's taking it head on. So those, yeah, those those are guys. You just, you know, they're great for your room, for a coaching staff to see it. Uh, you don't have to hold his hand as far as uh, putting in the work and and hey, you should work on this. He's he's always asking, what can I do here? What can I do there? And 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 in all three zones, it's not just how do I score goals. That's I'm saying he asks incredible questions for all the right reasons and and so you know you just keep building I mean there's lots of hockey here there's there's a grind to it all that stuff and just keep growing on this game did you have any teammates as a player who were, that you can remember who are sort of like that that kind of picked up a room or brightened it up a little bit? yeah oh yeah yeah I, I've been around a little bit I've had some some incredible teammates and um, and in different spots in different times I'm not going to mention guys but I've been very fortunate to, to play with some Hall of Fame caliber guys that were Awesome to play with. Any uh, lineup changes tonight? Uh, we got Elvis starting, and uh, Bayruther's going to be in for Bolkus. He's day-to-day uh, -day upper body. For Christensen. Christensen, sorry. Bayruther's already in. Yes, Christensen. Day-to-day -day upper body. Yes. Uh, 
Keels gets a night off, or does he have to do the fulfill his 2,000 years? Oh, yeah, no, he's going to be busy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no day off for him. Yeah, but you have so many incredible support staffers. When a guy gets a 2,000, it's, yep. obviously it's pretty cool. We should make shirts for it, but it's still a pretty neat moment when that happens. Well, great to celebrate something like this, right? It, it's, these guys put so much work in, and they get zero credit for it, and nobody talks about them nearly enough. Or they're behind the scenes. They're, you know, we land at whatever time in the morning. Everyone's going to the hotel. They're coming right here, and they're unloading stuff, and, and they get in late, and they're the first ones here unpacking stuff and getting, making sure things are right. And they, they I, again, they just they do not get enough credit for how much work they put in here and, and to last as long and, and be around for that many games. It's incredible. So it, it's a great night to celebrate for him.